Let's just see if it's back up. Hey, I see me. Hey, that was a quick transition. That's what's up. <laughs> All right. All right, everyone. Welcome back. Uh, his eye, Faust. And this is the shit fecta. And for those of you who don't know, it's a little coined phrase I have deemed for these three acclaim games that I have uh, pretty much speedrun really well. And uh, they're all notoriously known for being really bad games, like hard controls, shitty controls, shitty enemies, shitty hitboxes, shitty routes, shitty mechanics, shitty physics, shitty everything. That's why we're calling it the Acclaim Shitfecta. And that includes Spider-Man, the animated series, released in 1994 by Acclaim. That also includes Wolverine, Adamantium Rage, released in 1994 by Acclaim. And then finally, we will be ending it out with Batman Forever, released in 1995 by, you guessed it, Acclaim. <laughs> so... As per usual, let's get into it. Oh god, I forget that this one's loud. Yeah, it's 420 in my house. <laughs> All right, so the basic premise of Spider Man is that Venom releases all these enemies from Ravencroft's insane asylum. And they have five security cards that they've taken with them, so we gotta defeat five enemies that they have the cards, get the cards back, put the cards and restore Ravencroft, and then defeat Venom. Pretty simple. And yeah. Prepare for some glitches, everyone. The jams, though. They are jams. They are hot. Alright, three, two, one. Shit fact to begin now. All right. Skip that. All right, we're going to try and get a skip right here. We're going to try and clip through there. Yeah, we did it. All right, so that just completely skipped half of that shit that we didn't have to deal with anymore, and we're already done with the first fucking scene of the level. Pop out a grenade because there's a switch here that if you just throw, boom, it already is on. Yay, and that's how Dr. Octopus comes. If you don't hit that switch, he won't appear. Stupid. That's it. First key card done. Yeah, that's what they were going for, heel butts. And the samples are great. All right, we're gonna go for our first little glitch right here, guys. We did it. Awesome. All right. So that lightning grenade kind of hit him twice, and that's what we want. Because then it's just one grenade done. Alright, so more glitches to be had. Here we go again. Stick to this little crevice right here. Hit up. Yay! And we're going to try and do it again. This one's a little more difficult. It's a little more framey. But... Yeah, we got it. Straight to the exit. Alright, time for some, uh, backward jumping. I 
And if anyone can recognize the Three Stooges samples... GG's. Alright. We're gonna do this. Now, alright. Alright, done with that. Now, Green Goblin. Fuck you, dude. You gotta kick him three times in the face. And he'll drop his stuff. Alright, stage two done. If this game was any good outside of speedruns, no, dude. It's only good as a speedrun. shouldn't have done that. I'm fucking this guy up hard. This is losing time. Thank you. Okay, that did not go as smooth as possible, but whatever, we're moving on. We're bigger, better people. <laughs> Alright, you don't kick during this section, those things will knock you down, you're gonna have a bad time. I hate it, it's always a run killer for me if I get hit by those and knock down. I'm like, nah, I'm just done. Alright, that was Smythe, if anyone recognized him from the animated series. Alright, next section. Yeah, no, Acclaim fucked it up. I make this game look pretty awesome. This is not how it's supposed to go down. Like, you're... If you play this game casually, you're not gonna have fun. I got this for my birthday, and... It took me forever. It's at points like this. All right. <laughs> this game is a meme. Now we're on to the last level, everybody. Ah, fuck you, Mysterio. Now, there is some other ways you can go about this. JKL has the fastest time for this, and he actually ended up routing it a little bit better than I did at the end of it. He found a lot of shit he could do. And uh, him and St. Joe brought the time down pretty far. Faster than I thought it would be. But we're still in a good time frame. Shocker, fuck you, dude. Peace out, dude. <laughs> Pictures of. Alright, I can stand by that. Alright, blue key card, B. And 
Finally. Yellow. Now it's time to face Venom. Oh, come on. Wow. Two hits instantly. Screw you, dude. No, that's not good. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> oh well. Okay, we gotta do some chimmy shaking. Listen. All right, we're gonna take it slow roll. That's fine. I kind of accounted for 11 minutes, and we're really, really far ahead right now. That's right. Toast it up, bacon. That's what it is. Yeah, teabag him at the end. That's right, it's done! <laughs> Alright, that was it. That was Spider-Man. Damn, that was a 10 minute run? Fuck, and we fucking died at the end. Real, like, we had to just throw one bomb at him, and we fucking died on that. Hey. Alright, game swap time. <laughs> Thanks, Sonic Man. Thank you, everyone, for the GGs. Oh, shit. This game. Now, this one is, uh... I don't even know what to say. Oh, God. God, that fucking smirk. Such a lie. Always play on easy. Don't let anyone make you feel bad for playing on easy with this game. If they do, they've never played it before, and you can correctly laugh in their face. Let's go. Wow, why didn't he die that? That was stupid. Okay. Basic things you want to know is you're going to want to do this fucking dive thing. And it's the same as your jump button, but you got to put the input down on the D pad to do it. It's pretty much how we're going to get moving around fast. You can do a roll like this, but 
to get out of it and do another consistent one after is such a like sub frame window it's impossible it's so hard to do all right that doesn't matter fuck you got through that little doggy here fuck him All right, first sub boss, this game. You were gonna throw a mech at him. Oh no. And he takes a thousand hits, man. Like, this is a, you guys wanna talk about gatekeepers? Gatekeeper out the gate. Dude. This is only the first sub boss on the first level. Still have to go through another one of this and a giant machine gun. Pick up that one guy because the route's faster and because why not? You're gonna die eventually in this game. It's kind of intended in some points because it gives you a full health regeneration and there are some points where the checkpoint is right when a boss fight is so it's best to just go and die in the boss fight and then just start it right over. platform you levers if you do a dive right then at the immediate drop down you'll avoid his gunshot but if you're just slightly off by a few frames you will get hit all right now we're through there we're gonna try and do a skip over this one little section Kinda hard to do. Yes, we got it. Alright, so it's really hard to get over that first one into the second one. Because sometimes Wolverine's uh, height of his jump is based on his momentum of speed and also how hard you're kind of pressing jump. It's really fucking weird. Second little boss here. <laughs> Such is life with a tink, I know. So that hit right there from that uh, robot is in the task. So I'm a, one left to assume that it's unavoidable no matter what. It's almost like a health check from the, the devs. Like they're like, all right, do you got enough health? And if anyone's wondering what the basic premise of this fucking game is, something about Wolverine needing to find out what happened in his past, and they don't really explain it too well. Like, not well at all. But if you've ever seen the second Wolverine movie, the one where he goes to Japan, uh, a lot of the bosses and the plot of that movie are kind of in this game because it's based off of a comic line during this year. There was like a one-off Wolverine X-Men like special where it details this stuff. I fucked up. Okay. Well, at least we didn't fuck up too hard. Okay. Stupidest thing right here. Even if you destroy this, if the red light blinks, it'll electrocute. Oh, 
Oh, biggest stupidity of the game. you think that's it and then you're like oh there's a dude right here that would shoot you with a huge cannon <laughs> my favorite Ernest movie Ernest scared stupid baby all right into the snowy tundras of Canada where apparently they have skeleton systems just sitting in body piles Time for a helicopter fight. Stupid. But we're actually killing it right now. That stupid cannon. We were too fast. Oh, thank God. We're going to be coming across Albert. He is an android who has been designed to kill Logan, and he looks just like Logan. We're going to try and kill him with 50 health. I don't know if it's... Well, never mind. Probably not going to win. <laughs> yeah, fuck you. <laughs> But it actually looks decent. Do a little clock on the dome. Okay, this part's a little tricky. We went through that relatively quickly. Okay, I'm pretty happy with that. Alright, now we're on to Silver Fox. He's kind of a butt lick. Does a lot of damage. Don't run away. Face me like a man. Box man thing. Take that, you sucker. 
<laughs> Alright, so this level is actually pretty awesome because of the two bosses you face. It's Lady Deathstrike and uh, Sabertooth. And they actually look pretty freaking awesome. Alright, we're on to Lady Deathstrike right now. Alright, that was Lady Deathstrike. She's done. Alright, time for Sabretooth. Kind of like a blow for blow fight. No way around it. Look at this art. Boom. That's sexy. That's so sexy. Alright, this is my abysmal level. Alright, so Wolverine has taken some acid. Nah, no, JK, he got poisoned by Cyber. Who has adamantium nails with poison tips that cause hallucination. Nice. Take that damage boost. Baby! I like to call this the spam level because it just throws everything at you. Oh no, I don't want to die right here. I want to die like up here by the one up that comes. Fuck. Look at how much health he just took away. I just started. I just spawned. This is what I'm talking about with this game. If anyone ever sits there and is like, Oh, why you play on easy? Okay. Play it on easy. So then they are jerks and at the end they're going to put a huge gap that brings you all the way back down to the levels that you were just on. Great. Or that. Oh, thank God that's over. <laughs> okay, so if anyone's uh, familiar with the Phoenix, the Dark Phoenix storyline, uh, you guys will know these people. That's what it really is. I always call it that, though. Wow. 
Wow, dude, this game is very uh, weird with these patterns because most of these I've never seen. Alright, that level's done. This level. Rock and music, terrible level. That guy's following me, awesome. So just climb on these chains, baby. It looks it's not easy. This fucking section right here. These things can launch you up. But you gotta do it on a certain time. Well, the section that you have to go up into, they are expecting you to know that. And if you don't, we're fucked. There we go. <laughs> All right. This one that starts rocking out. That's not cool. I got too hyped by the music. And we lost a shit ton of health. That's not cool either. But yeah, they expect you to do one of these. Alright, so to dupe those uh, laser trackers... Oh shit. You just gotta jump like a slight hop over those. Okay, there's some safety health right there. These ones are placed apart where you gotta do a little spinny thing like that. Try and fool ya. And to do that, I always go like this. Little doobie dupes. No, don't get caught in a loop. Alright, we're out of there. Time for the boss. Look at that. Alright, we're on to the last level. Okay. Okay. Okay, game. Just cooperate like you usually do, and everything will go fine. Okay. So it's kind of like a sewer maze, and uh, this guy's annoying. I hate this guy. There's character info you can look up on him in the game itself, and he's just annoying. Okay. on this guy yeah dog didn't think I'd recognize you'd be there sucker knew it the whole time fool
Hey. Oh, okay. That's cool. We can die, too. That's always fun. The game's just throwing everything at me. Like, die. You guys will see at the end if you didn't notice what I said in the beginning then I uh, just wait you're in for a treat section. That's just to show off some chops. Wow, look at that damage boost that happened. Alright, let's get a clip. Come on, clip. Alright, I can't get the clip. There's one clip you can do where it kind of fades him through. But clearly it's not in the cards right now. Alright, so if you're ever in a bind in this game, right at the end, because we're about to get to the final boss, uh, there's a health and... Uh, one up right there. Alright, let's get this. Yeah, Schooly Bob is Batman. Already off to a bad start. I'm just gonna wait here for a few seconds because if you defeat all the enemies on this side of the screen the boss won't spawn immediately so it kind of gives you breathing room to get some health back so I usually do this time to like take a hit once we get to 90 health we're gonna go so, yeah, we're there. All you gotta do is this simple stuff, guys. That's it. GG, yay! This time you win, bastard. And we gotta always do the shot. The shot. The <laughs> game gear. Xavier staring at the crotch. All right, moving on. The finale of the shit fecta. The one, the only. Batman forever. Let's go. Oh boy. You guys already know. <laughs>
Here comes the friggin' music. If the bat wants to play, we'll play. All right, flash pellet, Misses. All right, let's get it. I think we're too far to the left. Yeah. Up. Oh. All right, Val, let's go. Alright, so first speed tech you guys are going to be introduced to, and that's, uh, the roll. You can, uh, easily chain it and create a sonic roll. Look at that. Sonic copied Batman. Yes, they did. He did it first. Alright, so the basic attack I'm doing is this grab attack, which I didn't know about as a kid. And if you can kind of see the inputs, uh, that's why. <laughs> Come on, Raph. Wow, don't you dare do that shit, dude. Okay. No, it's like an electric shield. Boom, baby. That's that for that stage. Yes, the Genesis version of this is uh, definitely superior. The SNES has some cool things about it, like the map system. When you're going to a level where it explains what you got to do is better. But overall, that game sucks. This one's way better. Especially if you have a six-button controller. All right, so just pay attention to the funny names, enjoy, and watch me whoop all their asses, because there's not much else to explain. And if there is something, I'll let y'all know. But other than that, we're just going to be fucking chilling and playing like we normally do. Speedrun style, baby. Come on, Jackie. Oh, we get the flash pellets. Fucking godlike. And you guys are gonna see me do an exploit with it later on. Of this level. Shogun? How could you do that? And Batman. Alright, Sonic roll out. Here we go. Time for some bath humps, everybody. If Topaz is here, it's for you, baby. Pick short for 400.
Titan and Warlock. <laughs> we should just sit down with the lore one day. stage kind of sucks. There's not much to explain other than the fact that taking everyone's ass. It's supposed to be the bank level from the movie. We just show off bad humps the whole time. Yeah, the music is way, 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 way better, uh, dude. The sampling one of fucking the SNES is just like... It sounds muted. Alright, you guys get to see my name on the screen a little bit longer. Bye, me. So this is me in the future. This Batman Forever takes place in 1995 of 2000, so 2199. 21.99.5, whatever. <laughs> I'm bad at math and years and numbers, okay? I just know how to do things. That punk. Oh hey, Faust is in the game. <laughs> Take that, some quick action. I mean, you go slow. Okay, this is actually going really well. Holy shit, I might have to go back and retime this later. I can ask, uh, Billy Time, he made a ROM hack of this game called Batman Eternity, where he takes out, like, half the levels and makes the enemies kind of nerfed if you want them and not. It's pretty awesome. Okay, so here's where we're going to use the flash bomb to our fucking advantage. Alright, good positioning now. It should be this guy. This guy. Bye, Bayfield. How we know he's done. Right. <laughs> Level 2 done. <laughs> do the. Faust, do the bad thrust. Alright. Alright. Alright, so now we're on to the circus where they killed fucking Robin's family. But for some reason in this game, we stop the bomb ourselves.
Come on, cooperate. The clowns are the worst at blocking the grab attack. They're so cheap. That's what I'm talking about. And we missed it? How could we? Uh... Custard the Clown, baby. Get ready for some weird ones. Bowtie and Cartwheel. Classics. Nardo and Bioman. Also class. <laughs> I guess. Red Hood and Black Hood. Nice, we got the rope skip. Didn't have to see the rope ladder come down. Jesus, this stage sometimes. It's such a butt lick. Just wait for the fucking subway stage. That's great. Thumb skull. Booter. That tango. All right, that's level. Sticky the clown. <laughs> Dude, these names are killer. You know you love them. All right, so. <laughs> Level 4, this one is RNG dependent, so could be taking a minute or not a minute. Now we're going to the Ritz Gotham, baby. Gonna get bang oh no, actually we're going to Two Faces Lair, I forgot. Then we go to Ritz Gotham. Okay, Two Faces Lair, this level's alright. This one's not too bad. This one's pretty straightforward. Riddle me this. That's cool, dude. You can do that too. Both of you can just fuck off. Black guard. This track is sick. have to defeat all enemies. They won't let you go through. Alright, tough Tony. More like blocky Tony. Oh, 
Hey, Big John. I fucked up there. I was like, what the fuck? What am I doing? Alright, let's get... Yay, we got the one with full health. So if you get the two-face coin, if you get it on the clean side, like the not fucked up side, then uh, you get full health back. If you get it on the scratch side, then you don't get full health, but you still get a life. Bloodlust. All right, we're out of here. Okay, this one's a little tricky, but we're gonna get it. Yeah, we didn't get hit by the presses. Hell yeah, that's how you know you did it fast enough. Fuck you, dude. Okay, yeah, there's some problem solving going on right now. Bloodlust is back for revenge, more or less back for getting an ass beating. Take this back, Kwando, baby! Okay. These guys can be assholes. Big key, little key. I like big key, big ass, blast. Why are you the one that's kicking my ass? Usually it's the other guy. Had to, man. I'm sorry, Rudd. Alright, time for sugar and spice and everything nice. Holy shit. Here we go. Take that, asshole. Yo, Blue! Get my boy, Blue! Thank you for the good luck, man. Alright, now we're on to the Ritz Gotham, where we can have some good RNG help us, or... Fuck us. Isn't that how it goes? Wow, already taking away half my health, you fucking dick. Whatever, we'll just get the safety health. Dude, don't make me do this shit. Dumbass. Okay, now let's hope and pray that this guy in the blue does that black hole over here. If not, 
Eh, so annoying. Annoying, 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 annoying. That's right, get wrecked, Tommy Lee. The bat wants to play, we'll play. Black hole. Keep playing safe. Oh no, it went the wrong way. Now I'm trapped. I'm soft locked. Kill me. Forget about it. Holy shit, I'm soft locked. This has never happened before. Fuck. Shit. Okay, this is not good. Okay? I'm so confused right now on what the hell just even happened. I don't even... Oh, sick, and we got it. Dude, I don't even know. This is like... A holy shit run and a half. What the fuck just happened? I don't even know, man. We just saved our ass, dude. I thought we were soft locked into that wall for... I was like, we were fucked. I don't know what to do. <laughs> Alright, time for Wayne Manor. Or no, the subway station. Oops. They knew. Oh shit, I wish I would have died right on that full health. That would have been sick to see if it was a fucking death glitch. Party on, Wayne. Alright, punk, come on. Literally.
All right, we're just gonna gadget glitch them out because I'm sick of the blocks. The AI is just blocking everything. Look at that, dude. All right, get fucked. Get out of here, both of you. Ooh, we need some health. train comes, block. You'll hear it. I love how the game's helping me in areas and then fucking me in others. That would've killed me. Damn, that killed me. A punch in the air kills me? Yay, we did it! Alright. Here's where it starts getting up. Wayne Manor, baby. I'm Sway. Sway. <clears throat> Man, it's hot as shit. Yay, two full healths, because we badass. Alright, so secret room here, but it's necessary because you gotta defeat this guy. But we get a one up. Yay, we're cool like that. Okay, these enemies start getting real aggro real quick. We're about to see. They'll throw out all their special moves that are just instant kills. Like that right there, that's an instant kill on me. Or damn near takes away 90% of my health.
All right, Mark Wick, and then Angelo. Come on, baby. Or Antonio. Fooled me. He'll come back later. Dude, Batman's cape is OP. Don't you understand? Cloak. Nacho Kid. Rip Antonio. Wait a second. Oh shit. Look, he's back from the dead. Insta kill. Batcave done. Alright, moving on to the last stage. Claw Island, baby. Gonna face two face in the Riddler for the last time. Take that. Always grab your handy dandy flash pellets, they're the best. Oh, okay, cool, Vernon. Iggy? Why are you on? Yeah, I'm gonna come on and get ya. That's such bullshit. That shouldn't have connected. This section sucks. Dude. I just killed myself. That was not what I wanted to do. Fuck, we're bone fellas. We're not bone fellas. Ladies and gents, we have made it. Oh, I am sweating profusely. You don't even know. Oh.
Yeah, it was the same with me. Alright, little puzzle right here, but it's pretty easy. That's it. Alright, time for some Riddler madness. Not that, you son of a bitch. We're fucked, everyone. All right, this is, I'm not saying shit. Holy shit, we did it. That's right, baby. Yeah. Like one hour and 20. Holy shit, dude. All right, that was like an hour and 20. Fuck yeah. Not even, it was like an hour and 16, 17 minutes. I fucked up the timer, I forgot to say no splits, I fucked up and I just fucked up some splits, so, oh uh, fuck, <laughs> oh shit, the timer layout is something different than the splits, holy shit. This pleases me. This pleases me. That's a shit fact, uh, an hour, less than an hour and 20 minutes, guys, uh, three really difficult games, all done really fast and I hope you guys enjoyed it um I think we just saved ourselves some time I think we should be right back on schedule it's 7 30 let me see what the ZG ready dog oh he should be here shortly okay latch fecta next time <laughs> what almost back on schedule oh damn I tried I tried
I'm really proud of that one. That one was fucking awesome. Yeah. That was fucking great. Love it. Hell yeah, thank you guys. Fuck yeah. Well, I guess since we're waiting a little bit. Hey, yo, that's sick. Guess we'll play some Jenny music. A victory lap of bad. Oh no, dude. The fi the shit fact of victory lap. Oh no. No no no. <laughs> I took the music off. My bad, guys. I'm trying to play music. We'll enjoy some music. This one's different. Yep. No, you missed it. We're done. We are done. <laughs> we did it all in an hour and 17 minutes. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Oh, you good, ZG. You good. We'll listen to some Cook and Soul real quick. Listen to some What Goes Around. It even loads and plays. The key to crushing marathons is to always submit a high estimate that they think might be it. They're like, oh, you know, could be. And you just play perfect. Are we ready? Uh, I don't know if we're ready. I when I first started submitting stuff in, I always put it within like a two minute barrier of my PB. And like three people kept messaging me like whenever I'd submit, they'd be like, yo, that's like danger level. Enjoy these tunes while we wait for ZG. It's a spicy thing, but a noble thing. fucking awesome see and that's the thing when it's like a double-edged sword because when you submit an estimate that's three minutes or two minutes off of your pb then you're pushing yourself to try and be better than that and then you're pushing the barrier into the breaking world records live and then that's when it's like Great. Oh, thank you, Zanto. 